Hello buddies, welcome back to another important Smart India Hackathon video. And in fact, this is the last video of the Smart India Hackathon 2025 series. And I believe a lot of you are extremely happy with the SIS results that have come out. I believe all the four batches results are out by now. And for all the teams who couldn't make it through, don't worry, take this as a learning. There are a lot more hackathons out there. So we have personally shortlisted a list of next upcoming 50 plus hackathons. You can check the link in the description. Okay. So what we are going to cover in this video, the next steps with respect to the post result process. Second, the roadmap of the Smart India Hackathon finale. What are the processes? What are the steps that are involved in the finale? What are the different rounds strategies for each round? How you can take your prototype and ensure you deliver a successful product? and our personal SIH story and learning as a participant. So far all the series has been like as a mentor and as a judge and this is going to be a participant perspective of me and the final knockout presentation, the PPT which we made, that also I'll be sharing in the description. Let's go. So hopefully all the teams who have been short tested would have got your nodal center details. For teams who don't have clarity what a nodal center is, basically every problem statement will have its own nodal center, which I mean, say there's a college called as VIT in Chennai. If that's a nodal center, around 50 problem statements will be allotted to that nodal center. So all teams who are selected for that specific problem statement, the five finalists should be there in that location. So it's not only one problem statement is allocated to a location it's basically dependent on the colleges across india across different states there will be different nodal centers so you don't know that where you'll get the location your problem statement may be like given by the government of punjab and your location may be somewhere in northeast india or bottom down south okay so make sure to pre-plan all your details and your travel to a nodal center because last minute travel booking would cause a lot of chaos and the refund for the travels is going to be only for second class sleeper in train okay make sure to be aware of that if it's not comfortable uh, you can book a tier 3, you can go by flight, whatever, but the refund will only be for a minimal amount which they have for sleeper class. Okay, keep that in mind for the travel. So before going to the location, make sure to get the consent letter from your college. Hopefully your college also would be updated with that, with all your team details. And one of the most asked questions for me was like, what if my team member is not available? What can I do? A max of one team member, if it's not available, you can get a consent letter from your college, what's the issue. And I don't think you have an opportunity for replacing new members in a team this time. Every SIH, the policy changes. If you have that policy, check out with your college, okay? This is the next steps before going to the final. Now, let's go to the SIH finale roadmap. So now, with respect to the finale, for both software and hardware editions, let me explain how the rounds are going to be. For software, it's 36 hours, right? As you all know. So you will be having three rounds of evaluation. The first round is basically going to be your ideation round, which will hopefully be between the first 8th or 10th hour. The second round will be your prototype round, which is going to be around like the 20th hour or something. Your final round will be in the 32nd or 33rd hour where you have to submit your code and all. That will be your final round. And with software edition, especially, you may not end with just three rounds. If the judges feel that two teams are doing exactly good and both deserve to be a winner they can announce a joint winner else if they feel that nah i only can get one solution i only need one winner they can have a fourth round basically a tiebreaker round between the two teams they may give a separate module who is building this first will be announced a winner so Typically, there are three major rounds. The fourth round is optional, totally depend on the evaluators. With a hardware perspective, it's a five-day hackathon. So each day you'll be having a round of evaluation, your hardware components and all. So typically the evaluation standards, it may be five rounds of evaluation, it may be four rounds of evaluation. Every stage monitors how your hardware is getting upgraded and aligning to the problem statement. And most of the hardware assets, the organization themselves will be providing. But I would suggest you to take all the core modules by yourself. Sometimes the budget may be a huge constraint. If that's the case, try to approach your college to help you out on that. Okay. So this is the overview roadmap with respect to SIH 2025 software as well as hardware edition. Now let's talk about what you can do to nail each evaluation round along with your uh, prototype building strategies. Okay. So always keep in your mind, never over exaggerate your product in the sense you may feel very tempted that in the first round itself you're going to go and boast about your product. See, I have this, I have that and all but that will backfire you directly, okay? So the first round is basically designated for your ideation round. If you see the SIH policy, when you go to the SIH finals, you should only have 50% of the prototype made. Most of it should be built in the finals. Keeping that in mind, if you are exposing everything you have done in the first round itself, you won't have anything to show in the second round. 
you won't have anything to show at all in the third round that will backfire so strategically write a roadmap plan what you should actually tell in the first round 30 percentage is an ideal number to say say uh, you have done the front end this is the base idea this is what you're going to do then in the second round you can show up to 60 percentage basically the prototype how much it's done you can show the progress from the first round to the second round in the final round you can show the 100 percent product okay so keep this ratio in mind when you're presenting because if you over exaggerate in the first round in the final round when they ask a question you won't have anything done in the 36 hours so have a 36 hour plan so my personal suggestion is when you go there even if you feel that i can make 100 percentage of the product before the finals don't build the whole product there on okay break into modules okay let's assume that you have a front end dashboard Take out the analytics as a separate module. Take out the back end as a separate module. So that once you come into the finals, you just have to integrate it. Okay, because once you come to the finals, the requirement may change. The actual evaluators from the finals, they may come and give you a need. I need this feature. So you have to be adding that. So if you have your full built product, you will get backfired on that. So use this as a strategy for building your prototype, taking your product there and nailing each round. Okay, in the ideation round, make sure to be more core to how your idea is creating a stunning impact and show the progress how much you have done as we talk 30 percentage in the second round show your working prototype at least should be like the skeleton of what works to make sure the judges understand that the extreme progress you have made from the first round to second round in the third round you have no option you have to show 100 percentage of the prototype and the major mistake most teams do is they run out of bugs they run out of scenarios where they will feel like they will rush up in the last round like 10 minutes or 15 minutes before and it gets crashed out. So in the end, with respect to SIH, it doesn't matter what scenario you face. They need the solution. Okay. So be prepared for each round. So if your final round is at uh, say the 34th hour, in the 32nd hour, be ready with everything. Okay. And SIH is not just about your product, it's about how you present the product. Because judges won't have any idea about your product, right? And this is the most ignored part where people work on the product and forget to make the presentation ready. Your presentation is very crucial, okay? Spend at least uh, an hour or two, say if you have a six member team, at least two members have to spend time for making a killer presentation. It should be like a knockout. So the killer presentation should include your demo, how you're going to show your video demo or how you're going to show your product, you're going to explain your architecture and the final round that is basically the third round, you'll have only five minutes to explain and three minutes for Q&A. This the judges won't be saying you there directly, you have to be alerted. Okay, I believe this blueprint should be enough for you to pre-plan what you have to do for each round and crack your SIH title. And for all the teams out there who is going to the finals, you can face any kind of negative scenario okay it may be your team members not coordinating they may quit in the last minute your college may not allocate two mentors which i also said like uh, two mentors should be allocated for each team they have to be there in the location else you have to have a consent letter for that also mentors may not be allocated or uh, your code may get uh, disrupted or can be like removed or something that can happen before you get into the finals and once you come to the finals you may see that there are huge competitors out there and you don't even stand a competition, right? Even if any one of this happens, it can be chaos for you as a team to handle. <laughs> and each of this happened for me in SIH 2022. So I'll explain my SIH story in a short perspective because that SIH 2022, if I had won it as any other hackathon, I've won around seven national hackathons during my college time, including Smart India Hackathon. Uh, if I had won like every other hackathon, this wouldn't have brought me this far. I wouldn't even have started making content about Smart India Hackathon and being in front of you here, mentoring thousands of students, judged around 80 plus hackathons all over India and a community of 250k learners. It's all because of sharing knowledge and ensuring that you don't struggle like how I did. Because I didn't have anyone to mentor me during my time. I learned the hard way. And it's my responsibility to ensure that you don't learn the hard way. So what happened with my SIH story? Let me be a bit precise and short. So as per SIH rules, we have to have six members in our team, right? So two girls and four boys. Out of the four boys, the rest three of them were my best friends. We formed a team. But before the finals, a month before the finals, uh, there was an ego clash between me and my 
uh, best friends, the fact that there was other hackathon which I participated without them. I participated with my juniors and we went on to win that. They were unable to come through that and we were busy with that hackathon that much that I didn't have much connect with them. I don't want to get too much personal. So it wasn't a good uh, connection between me and them. So what scenario happened was July 13th, I received the result of Smart India Hackathon 2022 that we are the finalists and I was extremely happy. Next day, my dad met with an accident. And 14 days, I had to sit with my dad for his surgical thing. His wrist bone got broken. And I had no time to prepare for Smart India Hackathon. And this was the biggest Smart India Hackathon so far, considering the count of locations. Okay, So 75 years of independence, 75 locations of nodal centers all across India. So August 25th was the timeline for the Hackathon finals. By August 5th, you have to give the confirmation if you're going to the finals or not. Because if you don't give the confirmation, you will be eliminated and a waitlisting team will be coming in. So by August 5, I have to give the confirmation. August 2, when I called to my friends, they were not ready to come. I received a message that, uh, bro, we are not coming. Uh, so consider us, we are getting rejected. I don't want you to be the leader and blah, blah and stuff. So the two girls and I, we were left with just three members in the team. And as per SIS norms, if there is any team that is less than five members, you are not allowed to be participating in the finals during that time. What happened that time was post-COVID, this was the biggest hackathon across the world. So many people were affected by COVID. So we received a mail on August 4th stating that you can replace your team with three new members. This was across India for everyone. And it was a trump card. So the previous hackathon, which I said I participated with my juniors, they joined my team. This was what, like uh, two weeks before the finals. One week before the final, I'm receiving uh, a message from my college that we are not going to allocate any mentors because you're going to lose anyway. What happened before that was we had our entire code base basically deployed on MongoDB and had our own hosting servers and all. And my ex-best friends, they also had their whole code. They destroyed the whole code base one week before the finals. So this was the scenario where we were going in. We had no mentors. We had no code, no architecture. Uh, new team formed. They didn't even have idea what the problem statement was or what the solution was. And just one week left for the finale. This was a scenario we went into SIS. Just to know that IIT Delhi were the finalists there. They had software engineers there as their uh, mentors. So seeing all this scenario, we had every possible reason to quit. Am I correct? Every negative scenario there felt like, yeah, it's done. But our motto here was not going on and winning the SIS 2022 crown. Our motto was giving our best. Because what I personally believe is, if you are able to learn enough, that itself is a win. So we went into the finals, the first round of evaluation. So it's basically uh, OTP alternative. So we built a QR based system, basically a eight layer of security. We built our own encryption algorithm called as one time handshake. So in the first round, when I am presenting to my judges about the idea and say, you know, they were like, what will button phone users do? So we built a complete robust system based on QR and tech. We didn't focus much on the button phone users because that was not asked in the problem statement. But psychologically, if you see, that also comes under the problem statement only. So you may not get certain things in your problem statement directly. Only when you go into the final, you will get. This is what I said. You have to be prepared for getting in new challenges. So we got it. And what I noticed was once they went to the IIT team, they also brought the same idea. But they were in their desk for around uh, 30 minutes. That itself was something very doubtful for me in the fact that they were IIT Delhi, they have never lost Smart India Hackathon last eight years and they were as our opponents and we had around uh, three other teams, one from Tamil Nadu, two from Mumbai, I guess, I'm not exactly sure. So the first round itself was a huge backfire. So technically we were like out now, we had to get a new idea and the scores got leaked somehow. I'm not sure how because of the IIT team or what happened. So basically the IIT team had a score of 45 out of 50 in the first round. Uh, other teams, I'm not exactly sure. Guess our score? We were at 20 out of 50. Reduce the possibilities. Extremely reduced. One of my teammates, Junior, was like, shall we put our return ticket, bro? Return ticket portal, Lama. Shall we leave back? We had all scenarios to quit, but we didn't. So, in the 20th hour, we got a new idea. Basically, 
in your button phone you have something called as ussd the concept where say you put star 994 hash you will get balanced details from your sim this is there from the uh, previous starting button phones till now right basically without internet you are getting data from the internet so we wanted to deploy it as a product but in india for getting a ussd code you have to either be a government organization or registered organization that's huge and we were students we had no option for one ussd code you have to spend around 2.5 lakhs based on our analysis in the finals and here we didn't just jump into the idea once we got we did our base analysis and when we went to the second round and we are telling our judges that this is what we are going to do and we did something crazy just that we cannot buy the ussd we thought for creating a server simulation that works like geo or atel service provider so that our product works they were stunned they were like uh, the judge literally said if you are able to build the product within the next eight hours i'll change my name and he asked one more question that this has been there for last 10 years how can you say that it is secure prove me the security then you are the winner he directly said that I was like, okay, fine, let's go. Then we went to the final round. By the final round, our product was ready. So within the eight hours, we split out as a team. So six of us, each of us had a role. One is going to work on encryption. I was working on the integration. One is going to work on a backend. One is going to work on a PPT. We had our entire plan ready. And that's what we worked as a team. And that tag team helped us build the product. So once you build a product in the final round, as I said, you have to be ready with a killer presentation. I always have my laptops ready. We had three laptops arranged. One laptop had the architecture, one laptop had the product, one laptop had the backend. So when I'm explaining to the just, they were stunned. They were just looking at the demo. They went out to the code. They asked a specific line of code. See, that time we had no AI and all. We had to do everything on our own. So they were checking the backend testing and all. And by the same time, when they asked about the security question, I and Mr. Vetri, so he's basically our co-founder, both of us had Indian bank uh, accounts that time. So we did a bank transaction without internet connection to prove the security level. So this was like a knockout blow. And we were done with the final round of presentation. The, every other team, the IIT team and everyone were done. So the results are about to be out in say uh, an hour or something. I was extremely tense seeing all the scenarios. Okay, what's going to happen? There are everyone around me, not even one who are there to say that we may win or something. It's like... Let's see, go, give your best. That was the scenario. But we were not there to just go and participate. We were there to give our best. So a few minutes before the results, the mentor from the IIT team, he just stood up and came to our team. And was like, it's just in a mocking tone. I'm just not going to elaborate it much. I just hope it doesn't backfire. So it's like, uh, this team has no mentors. It's like, uh, I can understand Hindi, okay? So basically, if you see that Tamil Nadu, people think that we don't understand Hindi. Basically, I understand Hindi. So I was able to understand all the stuffs they were saying. I was like, okay, that itself felt like a strategy for me to show off that I didn't know Hindi. So he was like, uh, this, you, this is like underdogs or something. And I was like, who is your leader? Then all of my team, they were looking at me and I was, like, I was already tensed. Like, Kya karun, what to do? I had no idea. What if we lose? Who I am going to answer? That was my scenario. Okay, I was like, okay what's your problem it's like go and talk to the iit mentor so we went just we were about to have a conversation it's like uh anyway we know who is going to win that was the conference he had in my face and it's like can you say what your product idea was so i just said the qr thing it's like so he said can you defeat us with this product so and i was like yes i said it to his face he literally laughed in front of my face he went and said that told to his whole team his whole team was laughing i was like Okay, cool, fine, let the result come. We are sitting for the results and the announcement is coming. And the winner of this problem statement is, when I'm saying is, the IAD team got up. They were half, half got up like this. I was able to see from here. I was like, they were getting up and it's like, cold streaks from SRM, TRP, engineering college, the whole hall was silent. So the two girls from my team, they were jumping there. The juniors were jumping. I was sitting like this. Tears were rolling from my eyes. Cause it's not just about hackathon here. It's all about the scenarios that led up to this hackathon, the hardships we faced for each scenario. That symbol of victory was about the whole team here. So we went on with pride, we got our awards, we came back, uh, we were back to our towns. And uh, what I want to say here is, it's not just about winning. Okay, it's all about what you learn, what this journey teaches you. Focus on that and giving your best is what matters. So before ending this video, I've also shared the final PPT, which we used in SIH 2022 finals, which has all the business model structure, your competency chart, everything that can actually be valuable 
and impactful for you. Make sure to check out the description. And yes, notifying you again, we have launched India's first hackathon ebook. Make sure to check it out. Link is in the description. Until then, signing off, Kamal Yaldas.